So here's a complete finish of my electrical system with my solar. Got DC power going there with a uh, breaker. And all of my equipment set up. It's a little dusty. We've been off-roading a little bit here. All my equipment set up there. There's my touchscreen power from there. I also have a DC DC charger. It's hiding way back in there. That's my 3000 watt Victron system. And my solar is in there. And everything's powered up through these bus bars. And that's sort of it. All finished up. The batteries are lithium. So this here's my touch screen for my Victron. And what this does with the inverter allows me here to have it on charge only. So if I just want to plug in and charge my battery, I can have it on there. But I can also turn it completely off so it doesn't do anything. But I can also go to on and turn it on and now I can use anything AC. Um, so from right now I'm going to have it on charge only. So I'm going to hear it click again. So this is one screen here. It shows my batteries at 81%. Shows the time. Shows how much charge right now is coming from my solar into my batteries and how much my usage is. If I had an AC load, it would show up there. So I can also scroll through here. And I put in the Ocean Pearl, and right now the system is off. There's nothing really coming uh, through the AC at this time. There's your 81% battery charge, your 111, and what's being drawn from the battery. And there would be your AC here, if you wanted to see that. Right now we have no AC input. If I plugged in, that would show up. And then from here, I can go over to a schematic. Uh, so what I'll do actually to show my AC here, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn my AC inverter on and what I'm going to do is turn on my radio and it pulls 3 watts. So now what I can do is take and go back here, my 3 watts is showing up here on my load. So there's my other screen showing the 3 watts of power. Um, if we get, got a little uh, cloud came over, so it dropped my the solar wattage. There's how much I'm drawing from the battery. And then if I go across to here, this shows the three watts AC, shows the charging coming from the solar controller into the battery, and how much is going into DC power. This would be your AC in, and there's your AC out. So these are pretty handy, I, I quite like it. Uh, it works pretty well, it's easy to use, and it gives a good visual picture of what's going on. So what I did for my shutoff for my water tank was I put it up under here. So when I open the drawer, it actually sits right above the level of the edge of the drawer here. So I just slide the drawer open, and I can just reach my hand in there and turn my hot water tank, my DC hot water tank on and off.